glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? You can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest. I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. Business. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside, alone for a century. Now, have you ever seen you see quite the like that? On your Nightingale Hall, we can begin the oath. The time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You might be hesitant to don your nose in here. It's troubling. Trust the last of you. You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. You appear ready for the oath. Nocturnal. 
queen of murk, an empress of shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falmer are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers. This goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. <laughs> 